Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Gail Robinson and I am officially three months post-op of open heart surgery because of an emixoma. Woo! I've reached my three month mark. Okay, so there's been a lot going on. Basically, I started walking like crazy and then my body started getting sore like crazy. I am officially sick and tired of taking blood thinners, but grateful that there is something out there that can help the healing process, I guess you could say. And today I officially got to talk to my cardiologist again. This is the three month checkup. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So let's see. He said that my echo came back great, so that's exciting. Um, he wanted to address the fact that a CAT scan that I had that ultimately found the tumor inside my heart also found two lymph nodes or something along those lines that were like here and I didn't ask on my lungs, on my heart or something. He just said you have two on, one on both sides. So that's all he said and that he said he wanted to do a repeat scan in the spring to come just to see if they're growing any. Um, he wants to do the cardiac MRI and I made a mistake in my last video. He actually is going to do that in October and then I'll follow up with him in November. I'm officially no longer on blood thinners. We are canceling the prescription today. I don't even have to take them tonight. I'm so excited about that. Um, my body has been uber sore and um the zio patch that i was wearing last video report came back that i do have a crazy heartbeat and it does skip some he didn't seem to be alarmed or concerned basically let's wait it out and see how your body is going to bounce back from the traumatic event that just happened he said your body is going to take 12 months to really heal itself like you're gonna have weird incision pain you're gonna have weird everything just wait it out and see what happens in 12 months he also wants to take me off of my blood pressure medication we're not jumping into that just yet but that is in the works in the near future which will be so exciting he is like anti taking drugs and I'm like you are my favorite doctor in the world so I'm super excited that God placed him in my path and a part of my story and I'm so great that he has agreed to take on my case and my uniqueness and yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. He would like for me to complete one month of cardiac rehab before going into work, but he gets the fact that I need to work and he said that I will be fine with working. So he has cleared me to work. I do start cardiac rehab next week and I will get about two weeks in of cardiac rehab before I actually do start working. So that's exciting. In other news with my job, I'm getting a brand spanking new bus. I'm so excited. So it won't beat me up as bad as far as the seat bouncing and all that stuff goes. Oh, emotions. Y'all, if you are going to have any type of open heart surgery, be prepared for some crazy crying emotion days. Um, I'm so grateful for a sweet friend who sent me a message prior to, well, basically coming out of it. She's like, just be aware that you might have some emotions. And I'm like so grateful because otherwise I would think I'm like crazy depressed. Um, and then one of my heart friends sent me um, a blog about it because I guess she saw me crying a couple times in some of my Instagram stories and she's like hey read this and I'm like are you feeling this way too because I didn't want to come out and be like yeah I'm feeling that way I'm crazy because people just get bag stigmas or something like that when it comes to emotions so I'm having weight gain and it sucks and that's okay too, he said. Like, just know that your body is going through a ton of stuff. And I will be okay within 12 months. Everything's gonna bounce back and be good to go. So, I do still have um, a complex cyst on my kidney, which eventually will have to be removed. And I don't know how that's gonna go about or what's gonna happen with that. So, there's that. Um, and that's it. So, I have my first checkup that will be in the near future will be in October. It will be the cardiac MRI. 
I will follow up and see him in November. And then we will have a repeat CAT scan in spring next year, so around April, March, he said. I'll have that. And then if all goes well with all of that, I will only have to see him once a year for the rest of my life just to do an echo. And I will have to take aspirin, a baby aspirin, for the rest of my life till the day I die. And that's it, my friends. That's it. That's it. That's exciting. 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 New report. Three months. Yay. Um, oh, let's, let's address how do I feel. So my cousin came over and helped paint my house, and I helped paint some too. Sore from that. I like decided I was going to just clean and redo my kitchen, so I just changed where all my cups are and all the plates are and all the silverware. I changed everything. I've been going on lots of walks. Um... I got sore and decided to take a little break for a little while, but I'm good to go. I'm cleared. I can go for walks. It doesn't matter if I get sore or not. I'm going to be doing the cardiac rehab, so that's going to be good, and I'll be monitored and all that stuff. Um, driving the car is getting easier. I can turn and look. It's getting easier. I can turn my wheel. I can almost go like this, where you do hand over hand, and turn, and yay. Things are getting easier. Um, holding groceries in both hands. That feels so weird because my bones are feeling like yikes. Y'all, I'm a baby when it comes to pain, just an FYI. So all you pain warriors out there that can handle the pain, y'all are fantastic, but that's not this girl. So I'm just keeping it real with ya. Okay, I think that's it. Sleeping, I'm still sleeping on my back and I'm getting tons of knots in my hair. I want to like lay on my side so bad, but then I don't want it to hurt and yeah, so three months, y'all. That's exciting. Like, good things. Like, I'm alive. I'm breathing. Life is great. Bring it on. Um, yeah, so you have things to look forward to at your three-month mark, y'all. This is great. Good stuff. And um, that's it. I'm going to start taking my supplements again because I have them. I don't know if I'm going to do them long-term just because... They can be expensive, and I talked to my doctor about them, the heart doctor, just to be sure 100%, and he said, these are all great. However, your body doesn't always absorb everything that you're taking as far as um, supplements go, so sometimes you're really just peeing it out, and it just hurts your wallet in the long run. So we're going to just go with what I've got and see how the wallet is because we're trying to get out of debt in six years. And then we'll just go from there. So I think feeding my body the most best food that I can will be the best thing for me. So that's it for now. I'll probably update you guys again maybe when I go to the weight doctor or not. I'm just slowly getting back into things. I am going to the weight doctors, but I'm not thrilled with my gain. It's not a bunch of gain, but y'all can tell it's a gain. Um, and that's it. And plus, like, with this emotional stuff, like, I kind of just want to, like, be offline and not be online and... Oh, you go through some emotions, y'all. Definitely go through some emotions. And anytime I see a heart, like, it just, like, just makes me, like, get all teary. So, I'm not going to cry in this video. But anyways, I've got to go cook dinner and eat some garlic. Oh, yeah. I have a question. Like, is there a way to know, like, what's a good garlic and what's a bad garlic? Like, there's, like, this bucket full of, like, garlics at the grocery store. And I'm like, is there a way to pick a good garlic or a bad garlic? You know, like, check out the sweet potato. Like, is there a way to tell if it's good or if it's bad? Like, the more dirt, the better? Is that how it works? And I swear there's an avocado. Oh, it's holding up my thingamabobby. Oh, and then there's tomatoes. Like, I just love roasted tomatoes. It's the best. And I'm, like, so stuck on this, like, mozzarella thing where you put, like, balsamic vinaigrette and then garlic and then deliciousness all over the place. So... I'm done. Talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your summer. Kids are going off to school soon or already are at school. And thank you again for all your support. I love you so much. See you guys soon.